remnants of Hurricane Lorenzo are weakening off the west coast of Ireland today. Winds now of 70 miles per hour and a pressure of 967 millibars. It's currently at 54.8 north, 14.6 west as of 2 p.m. UTC this October 3rd. CDPS right now looks like this, uh, stage 3 now because it's fallen below hurricane strength, that removed a whole 3 stages from the CDPS scale believe it or not. Still significant though and significant impacts could be felt across Ireland, Northern Ireland and parts of Scotland. The wind field is still massive as well, uh, pushing 300 miles in the southern quadrants. In the northern side, not quite as much, especially northwest, as you expect in tro extratropical cyclones. It's 225 miles from Castlebar, 247 from Sligo, 249 from Galway, 274 from Letterkenny, and 346 now from Belfast, which is just a few miles closer to the storm than Dublin at the latest update. Uh, the UK and Ireland channel on Force 13 is continuing to put out updates including these warning graphics. You can see high wind warnings across most of Ireland and the western coasts of Scotland into Wales and southwestern England as well. You can find more updates on Force 13 UK's Twitter and Facebook handles. Uh, this is what we're expecting in terms of rainfall over the next seven days. Now most of the rainfall depicted on this map is actually coming from other extratropical cyclones. I can tell you that the maximum amounts that will be from Lorenzo will be around one, maybe one and a half to two inches in some northern parts of the UK and Ireland. Uh, further south it's not going to be that much at all. And really I think this will end up being a non-event at least for the southeast of England into the coast of continental Europe. In Ireland also the uh, potential impacts have been reduced a little bit as we look at this graphic. Um, only expecting low to mid-range tropical storm force winds now as it reaches the coast of Ireland when it does make its landfall which will be somewhere along the northwestern uh, point of the uh, country near, uh, near Killy Beggs and then it will move inland towards the southeast and will be gone very quickly indeed by time we get to Saturday Sunday there'll be no trace left of this Lorenzo and actually when you look forward to some other extratropical cyclones after it for some areas those will be worse than what Lorenzo will bring. Can't dispute the size of the thing though look how its influence is pushing out way towards the north even reaching parts of Greenland at this time but the center of the storm is still quite clearly just off the coast of Ireland you can see it very clearly on the visible imagery as well there um, so most of the winds still displaced towards the east and south and I think parts of the coast of Ireland will be seeing tropical storm force winds by this point. Of course it's not tropical, that's just the terminology we usually use here. It is gale force is what the local verbiage would be. Uh, that is 40 mile per hour winds and higher. And I think we'll be expecting maximum winds along the coast of around 50 to 60 miles per hour in Western Ireland and also for some of the Outer Hebrides of Scotland as well we could be seeing 50 to 60 mile per hour winds there. Elsewhere the Irish Sea coast and the rest of the coast of Ireland we're probably looking at 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already, you may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.